do some more inverse trig problems here. So first the green one, it says the arc sine. Remember if there's a capital A, that means it's a function, which means the, the range is restricted. And in the case of a sine, the range it would be restricted to the first and fourth quadrant from negative pi over 2 inclusive to positive pi over 2. So this has to be somewhere in between there. And so where is the sine equal to 2? Well, that's kind of a trick problem because the sine is never equal to 2. So this equals no solution. Because you can never have a sine of 2. Think of your sine graph. It always, the, the uh, range, or the maximum is always 1. Because, why? Because the sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And is there any way, sorry, the sine of an angle is equal to sine of theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. And what's always has to be true about those two values? What's always bigger? In a right triangle, what's bigger? The opposite or the hypotenuse? hypotenuse? Always the hypotenuse. So is there any way for you to get this to equal two? There's no way. So this is no solution. Let's do the red one. Remember when I've got the lower case, that means that it's a relation, which means I have to do the plus or minus 2 pi n, or pi n if it's a tangent and cotangent. Remember that a secant sine, cosine, secant, and cosecant graph, they all have a range, I'm sorry, a, the period is 2 pi, and for a tangent and cotangent, the period is pi. So let's do this problem. Where is the secant negative 1? Well, the secant is the same as the cosine. It's the reciprocal of the cosine, but since we're looking for where it's negative 1, um, all I have to do is look for where the cosine is negative 1, which is at pi, and only at pi. So your answer is going to be pi, but then also at pi plus 2 pi, because that will get me back. So at 3 pi, for instance, or at negative pi, because I could also go in the negative direction. So there's your answer, pi plus 2 pi n. How about this blue one? The cosecant inverse is 2 pi over 3. Well, this would mean that the sine inverse would be negative th root 3 over 2. If you want to do that in your head or even just write it out. So where is the sine negative 3 pi over 2? And notice, by the way, this is a lowercase letter, which means I have to do this kind of thing again. Where is the sine negative root 3 over 2? That's the y value. It's negative root 3 over 2 here and here. All right, so let's write this out carefully. Make some room for it. So I'm going to have to write this a couple ways. It's 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n because it can start here and I can go 2 pi away from it. I can keep going in the positive or the negative direction from it. But it's also at 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. Well, sometimes there's an easier way to put these together. Sometimes there's an easier way where you can write it as one simple um, expression, but sometimes there isn't. Uh, one other thing is, you notice that I could have also, instead of calling this 5 pi over 3, I also could have said negative pi over 3, because that would have been the same angle right there. Negative pi over 3 wouldn't have, would have get me, got me down to that angle right there, and then I could have added 2 pi n. Also, I could have written this, sometimes they may want the answers in degrees, and if they want it in the degrees, instead of negative pi over 3 and plus 2 pi n, it would be negative 60 degrees plus, and so it would be 360 degrees times n. That's the same, that's saying it the same way. And so this would be instead of 4 pi over 3, this would be um, 240, 240 degrees plus 360 degrees times n. Now if this was a capital C here, the answer would be only negative 60 degrees.
because the capital C means that you're only looking at the range between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2 because the capital C signifies in some textbooks that it's a function that they're looking for. Okay. Functions need to pass the vertical line test. And it wouldn't pass the vertical line test if you kept going around and around and around. Because, again, if you look at a picture of an inverse trig function, it's going like this. It's an inverse sine function, for instance, it's going, it's, it's the sine function, which normally did this, but it's going vertically. So you can't, you can't have a function going vertically if it's periodic. Unless you restrict the, unless you restrict the range to a certain um, area, or I should say you're restricting really the domain is what you're restricting to uh, pi over 2, negative pi over 2, and pi, positive pi over 2, all right? So that's the uh, understanding of arc sine, arc secant, arc, all the arc, the arc trig functions or inverse trig functions.